My name is Dr. Stephen Parisian. I'm director of Compton Verney in Warwickshire. I'm also the curator of this fascinating new exhibition on Canaletto's stay in Britain in the late 1740s and early 1750s. Giovanni Canal, as he was called, or Canaletto as his nickname became, was one of the most famous uh, Italian painters of all time and certainly the most famous Venetian painter of the 18th century and indeed since. But many people don't know that he spent nine years of his life at the, at the height of his powers here in Britain. The exhibition looks at the, the, the new confident Britain that Canaletto depicts in his nine years stay here. It's something very different from his native Venice which then is, is in serious decay. If you like, Canaletto's come here to show Britain as the new Venice. And he looks at the engineering triumphs, the architectural diversity, um, the sheer bravura of the new buildings being built in London and in the regions. It's an exciting portrait of a country that's really far happier with itself, even than, say, 30 years before, when it had very much been in thrall to Italian fashion, Italian music, and of course Italian architecture. It's a new, um, stable, forward-looking Britain, energised by its military victories and looking forward to uh, economic and cultural strength. So let's go and have a look at the exhibition and particularly look at the, the marvellous canalettos that Compton Verney has that, that, that start this show. So here we are in the galleries looking at this, this marvellous exhibition, Canaletto Celebrating Britain. Uh, and here we are at a picture which really defines the whole show. It's one of the, the, the two marvellous canvases that we have ourselves here at Compton Verney. This is a view of, of Vauxhall Gardens, the Pleasure Gardens, originally built in, in the late 17th century, but, but completely revamped in the 1730s. Canaletto is showing it here in his view of 1751, really as, a, a, as, as an example of a vibrant Britain. This is full of people with money to spend, with fun to have. It's also a very eclectic, a very diverse place, not just in the sort of people who came here, but also in, in the types of buildings you see here. It no longer is Britain in thrall to the Italians as they were in the 1720s. Here, we've got a Britain that, that's confident enough to look across not just Europe but the world for its influences. It's a very different place than it had been 30, 40, 50 years before. L let me show you. Here we have the, the fashionable people of London enjoying Vauxhall Gardens and enjoying a, a wide range of entertainments and buildings which exhibit a far greater variety of style than you would have got 30, 40, 50 years before. You have, for example, this, this Palladium Pavilion here by none other than William Kent. You have another Palladian organ house, but look here, we have something very different, something very un-Italian, a Turkish tent, as it was called. And further in, we know, that the, the, the viewer knows that there's a Chinese pavilion, a Gothic orchestra, medieval ruins. It, it's, it, it's a whole world of architecture in one set of gardens. This is just one of 28 works by Canaletto in our show, Canaletto Celebrating Britain, um, along with all sorts of other works by British followers uh, of the great Italian master. Please do come and see it. There's a lot to explore here. Lots of themes, lots of familiar buildings, lots of less familiar views. We have a wonderful view of the horse guards in London, never seen before. So lots of treats in store. So we hope to see you here very soon.